Hi, it's Jim from the Saskatoon Public Library coming to you from Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. Uh, today I'm going to do a story time that just really about a bunch of animals. Maybe our relationship to animals. In some cases imaginary, in some cases, well, we have pets, right, sometimes? Or maybe we have rabbits running through our yards, which we kind of think of as our pets. Or maybe not. Anyway, um, maybe to get started, uh, we'll, uh, should we sing a song? Why not? Here we go. Are you ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Cool. So the first story I'm going to read you is uh, called Sitting in My Box. Can you all see that? Okay. Sitting in My Box. And uh, let's see. It's by D. Lilligard. And the pictures, pictures are by John Aggie. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's illustrated lots of children's books. Goes like this. Oh, there's the title page sitting in my box you can see there's a there's a boy and he's looking at a cardboard box have you ever played in a cardboard box i certainly have right it's fun you can imagine it being all kinds of things da, da, da. oh there he's going there's a box over his head he's going out into a field oh there's a bird up in the tree tweet tweet sitting in my box Sitting in my box. Well, there he is. He's sitting in his box. What, what's he reading? Can you read that? It's a book. It says wild animals. There's lots of animals that, that I've never actually seen in, in, you know, really up close, only in pictures and books. Like, uh, I don't think I've ever seen an elephant. Nope. I think I've seen a, a tiger and, uh, polar bear and a bear in captivity and i've seen bears out in the wild too it's a totally different experience anyway our little friend here is looking at a book so sitting in my box reading my book a tall giraffe knocks knock 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 let me in let me in so i move over Sitting in my box, an old gray elephant knocks. Or trumpets. Let me in, let me in. So we both move over, me and the giraffe. It's getting kind of crowded in my box, isn't it? Sitting in my box, a big baboon knocks. Knock, knock. So let me in, let me in, let me in. So we all move over. So what we got in there? We got a baboon, a giraffe, an elephant, and me, or the little boy. Sitting in my box, a grumpy lion knocks. What does a grumpy lion sound like? Let me in. Let me in. So we don't have much choice. We, we all move over and let him in. Sitting in my box, a hippopotamus knocks. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> so we all move over. It's kind of a funny sounding hippopotamus, don't you think? Oh, look. The whole world is starting to change, right? Huh. I just noticed that. So in the first picture, it looks like he's in a the box is in a farmyard, right? Like you might experience outside of Saskatoon. Although it would be pretty weird to see a giraffe walking across the prairies, I think. And it's still pretty normal when the elephant shows up. But then things start to happen when that baboon shows up. Uh, the trees start getting vines on them and, 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 and tropical uh, ferns and things like that start happening. 
And then, whoa, when the lion shows up, it's it's pretty much gone all jungle, right? Huh. Same with the hippo. Well, that now suddenly there's a there's a big sort of mud bath for the hippo. Huh. Oh, here's a view of inside the box. Standing in my box, there's no room to sit. Wait a minute, this box has too much in it. Would you, I, I kind of agree, right? There's a lot of animals in that cardboard box. Someone has to go, says the little boy. Brrr, not me, said the elephant. Not me, said the giraffe. Not me, says the lion. Not me, says the baboon. And not me, <laughs> says the hippopotamus. So what are they going to do? So there they are, all sitting in, in my box. When along comes a flea, a flea never knocks. He just jumps right in. You know, little fleas are about this big. And they, what do they do? Do you know what fleas do? If you've ever had a dog, you know that they bite. He bites the hippo and the grumpy lion. Rawr, rawr. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He bites the baboon and the old gray elephant. Oh. He bites the tall giraffe. Oh, let me out of here. And then finally, you could just see the little fleece jumping out of the box himself. And that's why I'm sitting in my box. Just me. <laughs> What'd you think of Sitting in My Box? Uh, by Dee Lilligard, and the illustrations are by John Aggie. I kind of like that one. What about you? Yeah? Do you think... Well, where do you think all of the animals came from? And then, and then, then it started turning into a jungle and stuff. Huh. Anyway, cool. So next up, I'm going to read you the story, Dog Blue. And it's all about a boy who finds himself a pet. And it's by Polly Dunbar. And it goes like this. But wait a minute. I, if we're going to do a story about getting a pet dog, there's a song we could sing. And I'm sure you know it. It's, you know, how much is that doggy in the window? Okay, well, sing along if you know it. And make the dog noises if you don't. Okay, here we go. How much is that doggy in the window? Ruff, ruff, the one with the scraggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? Ruff, ruff. I do hope that doggy's for sale. I'm gonna take a trip to California and leave my sweetheart alone. If she had a dog, she wouldn't be lonesome. And that doggy would have a good home. Okay, get ready for the big chorus, the big ending. Here we go. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the scraggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? Ruff, ruff. I do hope that doggy's for sale. <laughs> That's a good song. It's really old. So now, I'm going to read you Dog Blue by Polly Dunbar. Are you ready? Here we go. Bertie loved blue. He had a blue sweater, a blue dog collar, uh, blue shoes. But no blue dog. Mm -mm. What Bertie wanted more than anything else in the entire world was a blue dog. So Bertie pretended that he had a blue dog. He, he patted his blue dog. And he fed his pretend blue dog. 
and he took his pretend blue dog for a walk. La, 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 la. And then he'd throw a stick for the pretend blue dog. <laughs> but pretend blue dogs don't fetch sticks, so Bertie had to go fetch his own stick. Ah. <sighs> Bertie pretended he was a dog, a blue dog. Uh, he scratched like a blue dog. He sniffed like a blue dog. And then he chased his tail like a blue dog. <laughs> That's what you do when you have a blue dog, right? Or when you are a blue dog. I guess so. And then Bertie would yap like a blue dog. Yep! Yep, 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 yep! Yep, 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 yep! Yep! Uh, a real dog yapped back! It was a tiny dog, and all alone and looking for an owner type dog. <laughs> it was a black and white dog, a beautiful spotted dog, a perfect dog, Birdie's dog! But, but, but hang on, uh, wait a minute. Bertie's dog isn't blue at all, is it? No. <laughs> Bertie thought and thought, if this black and white, beautiful, spotted, perfect dog is not a blue dog, then he should give the dog something blue, right? What do you think you should give him? Something blue. Blue collar? Yeah, he's already got one of those. Hmm. A name. That's what he decides. That's what Bertie decides. A name. Blue. He calls his black and white spotted dog Blue. <sighs> Bertie called his dog Blue. <laughs> what a perfect pair. What a perfect pair. Bertie took Blue for a walk. Uh, Blue took Bertie for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie fed Blue. Uh, Blue sniffed Bertie. Uh, Bertie patted Blue. Blue wagged his tail. Then Blue showed Bertie how tail chasing is done when you're a real dog and you really have a tail. <laughs> so Bertie doesn't need to pretend anymore. Blue really loves Bertie. And Bertie, of course, really loves Blue. Especially when... It's Bertie's turn to fetch the stick. <laughs> oh. And that, my friends, is Dog Blue by Polly Dunbar. That's a good book, eh? But you know what? It's time to end this story time. Yes, it is. So we should sing the goodbye song. It's kind of like the hello song in many ways. Except we'll go. Bye, friends, same, bye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Let's try it. Goodbye, friends, goodbye, friends, goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. So goodbye, everybody. It's Jim signing off from the Saskatoon Public Library. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.